this is Congressman Luke Demeyer. Welcome to another edition of the Blaine Buzz. Thanks for joining us again this week. I want to talk about a couple things this week, just briefly. Uh, the President's been out promoting his jobs package, as everybody knows. It's been almost a campaign tour that he's been on uh, to try and promote the jobs package that he's promoted or tried to put together here in Congress. Uh, the Senate has you know, dominated by Democrats, and they don't even want the bill over there. It's been rejected by them. And what we've done in the House is we've been passing jobs legislation for the last five or six months. In fact, back in May, we started to put together a jobs package. And on our website right now, you can go to an icon, a little widget, uh, same color as this card, and it talks about the job creation uh, activity that we've been doing in the House. We've had 15 different bills that we've passed, we call them the Forgotten 15, because there's 15 of them that are sitting over in the Senate right now that have had no action on. Uh, that being said, we have passed five bills in the House that have been signed by the, by the President into law. Uh, the Patent Reform, uh, 1099 bill, and also the three trade agreements. And so, as a result, we believe that we have some jobs ideas that are worthwhile, that can make a difference in the lives of our citizens and our small business folks and job creators in this country. Along that line, this past week, uh, the president and the administration decided to do away with the Class Act, which was part of the health care package that dealt with long-term care, uh, realizing that it wasn't going to work, it was going to cost more than uh, it was going to be the benefit uh, for our citizens, they finally did away with it. They realized that the way they had structured the program was inoperable. Um, but it's symptomatic of this entire bill. Uh, from the standpoint that it's going to cost jobs, it's going to cost more than what they anticipated, so the cost of it now is over a trillion dollars, well over a trillion dollars, and the jobs it's going to cost are tremendous because it, again, is a uh, negative thing that job creators and small business people have to deal with, and if they have to deal with the cost of going to socialized health care, they are not going to participate and they are not going to keep their businesses open. So again, we're about jobs, we've been about jobs for the last several months, been trying to work with the administration to get those jobs packages to him. Uh, we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to throw good legislation at the Senate and hopefully some of those things will finally stick and they'll send it to the President. But then today we're going to keep working for you and look forward to continuing to work with you and for you. With that, we'll see you next week. Take care.